So we're here in the Alberta Tar Sands region, just north of Fort McMurray, Alberta. My name's Gloria Rubin. I'm on the board for the NWF. And we just came from a behind the scenes tour of one of Suncor's mining operations. Earlier this morning, we had a presentation from a couple of representatives from Suncor and they um, walked us through their, you know, the process and the mining practices that, that uh, they do. You're going to go to the mine site today, which is really the older technology, 40 plus years. It really is take a kid's sandbox and pour a, a, a liter of oil on it. It's just, it's sand, it's black sand. I've seen some pretty massive destruction on the on this earth, and this definitely ranks up there. Seeing that along with the, the, the process of, of mining um, the tar sands is uh, really unsettling. Um, everything from, of course, you know, digging massive clearly mines into the the earth and taking and needing taking four tons of earth and soil to create one barrel of oil doesn't seem to add up to making much sense in my opinion part of our tour at this suncor facility was downwind of one of their main processing um, uh, areas and uh, it's a very distinct uh, chemical smell in the air and also in the back of my throat you could you could definitely feel this you know you had to consistently swallow because there was this kind of metallic taste in the back of the throat it's um you know beautiful clear day and so obviously that's where it was coming from and can't help but think of the neighboring communities uh, breathing this every day so i don't know if you can hear in the distance these propane cannons which uh, are are lined up around the tailing ponds the tailing ponds are these literally these open unlined ponds where the contaminated toxic filled water after this mining process is is done and they just you know pump this water into these ponds and they have to shoot off these cannons so that uh, ducks and other flying birds <laughs> other birds don't land in these highly toxic ponds lest they be uh, you know, unless they die. So it's kind of an interesting thing to, you know, to see these things and to hear these cannons going off so that ducks don't land in contaminated water. It's all just ridiculous. I mean, what are we doing? <laughs> it's astounding, and this is just one of countless mines that are that are not just in, in uh, business and process right now, but the ones that are getting permits to to continue this kind of destruction. I, I, it's just moving us in the wrong direction is all. <laughs>